Hello. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my home. My name is Lisa and on today's agenda I have a dish cabinet that's in my dining room right by my microwave not too far from it and I am going to try to reorganize that today. So I have a very untraditional kitchen layout. Um, my husband and I swapped rooms. So this used to be our kitchen and now it's our dining room. And what used to be our dining room slash living room when we first bought the house. And then it just became our dining room and like our entry, back entryway. Uh, now that has become our kitchen. and. We took a couple bedrooms and took them apart, the, the dividing wall, and made that into one bigger room. So, I mean, there's not one room of this house that's still the same when as when we bought it. But <laughs> it's been a fun journey. And uh, so, but my whole plan for um, my kitchen was I didn't want to have a ton of cabinetry because there really wasn't room for it where we were putting the kitchen. Um, and so basically any cupboards that would have hold, held, um, would have held our like food and whatnot has all gone into a, a little pantry that I have, um, all my baking stuff, um, that I would use, um, when preparing cookies or whatever, that kind of thing. I have a little counter in the pantry where I can do that. Uh, in theory when I keep it organized enough to be able to fit in there um, and so then there was a question of where I was going to put all my dishes because as the channel name implies I love to go to the thrift store I have a wonderful one that is very close to me and so I was able to find dish sets very inexpensively there and a lot of times you could come across a pretty good complete set. So my, uh, my plan was that my last set of dishes that I purchased was going to be my everyday dishes. I usually was using just a, an IV Corel Ware type of dish and but it wasn't my favorite, but I had plenty of them. And so, and then when my mom passed away, um, she had the same set. And so I had an even bigger supply. And that was just always our go-to dishes. Well, then I found another set that was really pretty. And it was kind of like um, parts of them. I interchanged them. It wasn't a complete set, but I mixed and matched. And so it was like a pink and a red and white um, and a cream and white type of texture. Well, anyway, so we've used those to death. And it's to the point where now there's a ton of those little fine line china um, cracks that you get in um, old dishes. And if I was just displaying them, it would be one thing. But when I actually used them, it was kind of getting me grossed out a little bit. So... The plan is to get rid of the Corel dishes, which is quite a big stash, and to get rid of these pink and red and cream dishes that I had. They're all a mixed match. And now the cream dishes I'm considering taking and um, in the summer, taking them outside and breaking them and doing some kind of mosaic with it because I have cups and all kinds of things that's the plan so I think I will actually box those up and set those aside just in case I actually do it I think it would be pretty to do like a little tabletop or something outside for my patio my brother does really wonderful mosaic things and so part of me is like well I should try that but then other parts of me say, I better just focus on weeding next year and just leave some of this other stuff to the side. So we'll see. But that's the plan. Now, when I made this um, cupboard, I call it loosely, um, my husband built it for me. The whole plan was that I could, on each shelf, I could have a set of dishes 
And that way I could change them out whenever I wanted to use them. So say I, for this particular meal or whatever, I wanted to use this set of dishes, I wouldn't have to go switch things out or unpack anything. They were already gonna be on the shelf and all their little glasses and things that go with them were all gonna be right there. And so it was a good plan. But the only bad thing is, is I never really got into them. I just always went to the ones that weren't necessarily my favorite. And I thought life is short. So anyway, I'm going to share with you dust and all and mess and all this cabinet and in hopes that I will be motivated to get this kind of uh, decluttered. Um, my husband loves to use these little plastic cups. They're not really little. They're kind of like a 32 ounce, you know, plastic cup because he likes to take his beverages outside in the yard when he's welding or whatever. And so he doesn't want to take anything glass out there because inevitably it'll get broken. So he, and then that just kind of filters through the whole year. And those are his go-to cups. Well, as much as I've tried to trick him into doing something cute and pretty, I, I just don't see it happening. So I just have to embrace his plastic cups somehow. <laughs> That's going to be a struggle. But anyway, it's not all about me. And actually, when I look around my house, the entire inside of the house is about me. My husband loves to try to fulfill any of these wild dreams that I have of what I would like our house to be. And he's, he's wonderful and he can figure out how to do whatever I want my silly brain comes up with. But as far as like his stuff, there's really not much of it around. Sorry, I had to start coughing. So he should at least be able to have a shelf of his cups, right? <laughs> so anywho, but now in the yard and in his garage and in the driveway area where he does a lot of his welding and stuff, I mean, that's his area. He does whatever he wants to do. And so it, it all works out really well. He's happy. I'm happy. It's all good. So, but I've been sitting here long enough. I need to get busy. So let's see if I can turn this camera around and show you kind of the state of how it is now and then kind of go through my thought process of what I want to try to do. So just a second. Okay, so this is the mentioned cabinet. And so I have quite a few different sets of dishes. And then anything that we have kind of added just kind of gets set and smashed in there. I have found some little platters, um, some pans that I'm not sure that I'll keep. Anyway, but there is plenty of storage here. I am lacking nothing in storage. I just have too much stuff. So, now my whole plan was we have this little cubby that uh, a friend of ours gave and unfortunately one door the glass broke in and it needs some kind of little hook or something to hold the doors closed so anyway the doors just kind of have uh, have kind of opened and so now all that stuff is dusty but that's one of my other goals that I'm hoping to do this winter before we have to start working outside again is I want to get um, some glass put in those doors and then wash everything and close it up so that it'll be a little bit more tidy but these are just all my little little tchotchkes that I found at the thrift store but my love of dishes is blue and white dishes so we found this old-timey antique ice box and when I purchased it, it was cream colored and it had vinyl strawberries stuck to it. <laughs> I mean, it was so not pretty. So I took it 
and put it out on the front porch and I sanded off those silly strawberries and I painted the inside just a cream and then the outside of the doors I just tried to do a distressing on it just painted black and a little bit of brown you can see all my dust anyway but I want my look was I wanted it to blend in with this cubby and so as bad uh, as I am at painting I feel like I pulled it off okay so and and I just loved this thing but I didn't know what I could do with it but I thought well I could hold my dishes my everyday dishes so this is a set that I got at the thrift store and I had just stuck some greenery in there it just had wire racks that didn't say pretty primitive stuff to me so I just cut some fabric and just laid it on top of there but anyway everything has just been kind of everything's out of place basically I mean it started out being in there real nice but you know as time goes on you you move stuff around and make a mess so that's on my goal too also is to try to straighten that up but that's my everyday dishes but I, I, I also want to use these frequently so uh, this one that has the metal tumbler right there now that's a set that's gonna go and the very bottom one is the one that holds a lot of the Corel wear but we have like cool whip containers in there oh my goodness how how is it that we just can just accumulate so much stuff so and then also another thing I need to do is um, if you see that our floor is two different shades wherever the floor has not been stained that's where cupboards had been in the past so um, it goes all the way basically around the edge of our floors and so but I have an aviary in my house that has a ton of birds and so I can't do that stuff until we can have the windows open so but this is the uh, door as it's shut and so we still haven't figured out what kind of handle we want to do I'd like to have a little bit more hardware or trim or something to jazz it up a little bit but for now it's very functional okay so anyway I have the door propped up open with a crock and before I get really busy in this I know I am going to go and put my shoes on because I've stubbed my toe already once today <laughs> and no sense pushing my luck so I thought I would just um, do a little bit and then I'll do like a recap of where I'm at and and the whole thought of this is I know I'm not going to be sharing anything that's going to be earth shattering or show a way that you've never seen before. It's just a motivation for us all to just get into those jobs that we put off. And if I bring you along, hopefully I will finish. <laughs> so I'm going to get busy here and I'll chat back with you here as soon as I get some stuff accomplished. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got one of the little shelves cleared out. And you're probably asking, why would you start there instead of, you know, working your way from the top to the bottom or whatever? <laughs> and I probably should have, but I didn't. But this is the, the height that's the easiest for me to put stuff away. Um, the next shelf is probably the best, the second best. But then once you get down to this bottom shelf, I have to bend over and stretch and... Anyway, that's not very pleasant for me. So I thought, well, I would focus on figuring out what I want to put at the most convenient spot. So that's my logic behind that. 
So I got that all cleared out. I took the sweeper and I run that through real good. And let me show you what I've kind of come up with. So I've got an area for like paper plates there right by the plant. I've got an area of plastic and mismatched things. I've got some cute little decor pieces. And then I have a spot for stemware, which I have a ton of and never use. I used to use it when I have people over a lot, but you know, haven't done that in a while. So, um, so anyway, so there's that. And let me show you the dishes I'm getting rid of. Okay, and so these dishes are the ones that I was talking about that have the hairline cracks in them. And they're the ones that I think either I'm going to, and in the picture they show a real pretty pink, but they're really more of a maroony color red. It's kind of hard to, to tell. But anyway, I, I've, I've enjoyed them and now I just need to let them go. So the plates and things are going to go. I do have a couple little cups that I thought I might make pin cushions out of. And then I thought this pretty platter is in really good shape and it doesn't have any kind of uh, um, chips or anything in it. So I thought I might make a stitching, uh, make a little display to put stitching accoutrement on but we'll see and then I found a couple uh, stemware glasses that they're they're gonna go to the thrift store too so anyway so I have made a few decisions although when I look at this in the film or look in the camera monitor here it makes my heart happy so I might have a hard time getting rid of it <laughs> but we have to make progress right okay so back to work okay well there's been a little bit of progress. I decided on the bottom shelf I would put Larry's plastic glasses, paper plates, napkins, and then like our paper products back there. And I just realized I have some napkins that could go back there too. Okay, and then this set is a real heavy set that I have. They weigh a ton, so I've decided not to move them and just leave them where they are. So this is the set that was on the top shelf. And so I've got them all cleaned and put in here. And then some of those little tchotchke things, like I had some salt and pepper shakers and, and this little creamer or whatever, I decided to put there because I found a spot. On the very top, I put some of our Tupperware containers that we hardly ever use. And so now I have two more shelves left to do, and then let me show you what I've got to go there. Okay, so this is a set that I really love. Got it at the thrift store. Um, it's real pretty, but it has some metal along the edge. And so I know it's not real practical as far as like, I know I would be the one to forget and put it in the microwave and blow it up or something. So, um, anyhow, so that's going to go on the top shelf and that'll just be something that I'll pull out, you know, like maybe up my cookie exchange or for something a little bit fancy. I also have some pretty stemware that I need to wash and put back. And then these are the dishes that I was talking about maybe using for kind of an everyday type of thing. So it's a it's a little winter scene. And I've got quite a few of them. And I've got some blue stemware and some random little plates and whatnot. So now I've got to get those all cleaned up and ready to go back in, and I'll show you what I do. All right, everybody. So I've got it all put back in place. I've got the Tupperware on the top. I've got my ones that I'll use for a special occasion on the top. 
and then some everyday ones there and there and there <laughs> then I have the paper products and now I haven't tackled this bottom um, area on the floor I think a lot of that stuff's gonna end up uh, leaving but I've got other stuff I have to do today and so I'm just trying to do things in uh, manageable segments so that I don't get overwhelmed sorry for the light pouring through the window but so anyway I'm going to give you a little bit of a close-up so I was able to get that set in there and then I even took some uh, plate stands and uh, I took a doily just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. I took two different kinds of stemware just to kind of give it some interest. I thought, well, maybe if I make it look pretty, it'll make doing dishes a little bit easier. <laughs> so this is that one set that I thought I would try to use just as everyday dishes. They're not necessarily anything earth shattering, but I bought them and I've never really even used them so it's time these are just random big bowls that we use that don't really match anything but anyway this empty spot there's a lot of bowls in the dishwasher so that area will be filled up here pretty soon so anyway that's that and I'm very happy with it Okay, well anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope something will motivate you to get in your stuff and get it organized and maybe pass some things on to someone else who uh, could enjoy them also. And really, when I look at the clock, I don't know that this took near as long as I thought it was going to. Now granted, there's still stuff that on my counter on my island that I need to box up to take to the thrift store but that's okay it's right there where it's totally in my way so I know I won't leave it so I thank you for joining me thank you for helping motivate me to finish this job today and I just pray that uh, you're having a blessed day and that whatever you do brings a smile to your face so you come back and see me again <music>